because if Elle still suspects us, then randomly introducing new people into our lives will look even more suspicious. Also, dating a TV star in two days after her old girlfriend's funeral is not a good look. The hell is not? It is if you want people to think you murdered the bitch. I'm somewhat... They'll think you killed her? Two you... days is too soon, man. Is it? What it is, guys. It's your boy Blast from Sage D, and today we are here to check out a video called How to Beat the Death Gods Game in Death Note 2. Now, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link's in the description down below. I haven't seen Death Note 1 or 2, so... Death Note's awesome. Dude, I love Death Note the cartoon. If you guys want to watch the original video, it is by Sim... Simmer... Cinnamon... Cinnamon. Summer. Fuck. Cinema Summary. <laughs> Let's do this. You are the deadliest serial killer in the world, but someone is following in your footsteps and every mistake they make could get you caught. You'll have to sacrifice everyone to outsmart the world's greatest detective, and only the most brutal plans will keep you one step ahead. When the world is days away from finding out your true identity, what do you do? I'm going to break down the mistakes made, what you should- You go back and find that girl that was chained up in that basement and see if she's down to get drinks, but without untying. Why do you have to- yeah, I was gonna say, why do you gotta take? Don't her untie. Yeah, don't untie. Ask her if she's thirsty. I mean, a silly straw. She don't need to see what the liquid is. <laughs> Should do in how to beat the Death Gods game in Death Note Two. It's been six months since Lightyear discovered a Death Note and has been using it to kill criminals throughout the city by writing their names down in the book, hiding behind the alias Kira, which means killer in Japanese. The police haven't been able to gather enough evidence to catch Kira. her, but Elkir, the detective, still suspects Kira. Light is Kira, the mysterious serial killer they are looking for. But after a tragic accident involving an FBI agent killing Light's girlfriend, the investigation- I was about to say, that didn't look like an accident at all. Nah, she pointed no, right at the bitch. No, like, yeah, no. I am killing you right here and now. Yeah, man, there's an accident, man. Just don't know. And started looking for other suspects. No one knows that Light secretly killed his own girlfriend by writing her name in the death oh. to avoid suspicion from the detectives. Two oh. days later, he's smart. She asked for a relationship. He's like, hey, let's kill this bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh, fuck. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that angle. Turn that shit into a skit. Hey, well, yeah. Call yeah. it Death Note in the Hood. Rival drug dealer? Not anymore. Cheating girlfriend? Dead today. Bro, even worse, you can write in there shit that's not death. So, like, a guy pisses you off at school, instead of killing him, just writing a death note that he eats ass. And then forgot to wash his mouth. <laughs> forgot to wash his face afterwards. Comes to school, breathing on people. <laughs> you hear about Bob? Sick son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is why you could never have a death note. It's <laughs> shit like that. That uh, shit right there. Came to school yeah. smelling no. like he had fingered a, a horse's anus with his Bro, face. Smelling like peanuts and corn. Oh, Jesus. He has gathered to pay their respects. He asks his father, the chief of police, for permission to join the investigation and help find Kira. But his father has no idea that Lightyear just wants to find Elle's true name so he can write it in his death note and kill him. Okay, joining the investigation team as the same killer they're hunting down makes for a very high pressure situation. And we needed a way to make sure we avoid suspicion for long enough to kill L, his arch nemesis. If I were him, I would use beta blockers which stops the effects of adrenaline on the body and slows down your heart rate. This way, I can join the investigation team without showing the physiological effects of stress and hide my anxiety from L <laughs> if the investigation starts leading back to me. <laughs> this is a risky strategy, okay. but it's actually one that's been used by Sun Tzu, one of China's greatest military tacticians to infiltrate his enemy's army and defeat them. The Art of War says that in order to know your enemy, you must become your enemy. And Light here knows that even though it's risky, joining the police investigation- I thought what he was going to say was that Sun Tzu would use beta blockers to keep himself from being stressed out in battle. Which I just thought that he would just go have sex like the night before. So like the next morning he'd be like, oh man, okay. If I don't make it, it's cool. Yeah. I got laid. Yeah. Totally cool, man. It puts him one step ahead. The Art of War is now an audible. And the principles in there teach Light and L how to win in every possible situation. Taking advantage of every weakness of your opponent and neutral. Literally the best sponsor I've seen. In oh, that, was, that was so sly. Was How he slipped that in there. Really like, good. that was sly. I'll, really good. I'll it's let it exactly slip. what makes The Art of War the perfect book to beat your opponents and why it's been the top military tactics and strategy guide in 2,500 years. And with the new Audible Plus catalog, which includes hundreds of free titles, you can read The Art of War as soon as you sign up. It's only a one hour listen, and in my life, help me think strategically and gain an advantage in every situation, just like Light and Al.
Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Please use my link, audible.com slash how to beat or text how to beat to 500 500. They claim you're I will not be texting how to beat to fucking to any, any number. Ever. Any number, man. You don't do viewers no. at home. Do not do that. Don't do that shit. I've been on the receiving and the sending end of this type of situation. Always good to keep your hands clean and your nose even cleaner. You don't want to stick your nose in that. I ever tell you by the time I went to Google grandfather clock and missed the L. When I was younger, <clears throat> back when Juvenile came out and 400 Degrees had come out, I went to the library, typed it in the search bar in front of a crowded library, www.hotboys.com. Oh. I was looking for Juvenile. But the problem is, is when you said that you were looking for a Juvenile <laughs> to the old white librarian. Fuck you. Instantly they were just what? not, this confirms it. <laughs> we need to call the police. No, 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 man, it's not, no, it's not what it looks like. I was looking for a juvenile. For a juvenile, I, I swear. For a juvenile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's in the hot boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Not one of your finer moments. Yeah. Really not finer moments, bro. Yeah. But yeah, man, they made me leave that library. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to I go could, back. Yeah, I could imagine. Lifetime ban. You should go back now and see if you could do it again. Just to get, see if you can get away with it. Oh, forever. It's like, hey, they just don't ever want to see you again. It's cool. If you guys want to see a live vlog of him going back to that library and typing hotboys.com, just go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if we get more than a thousand. You know what's really fucked up? Like, I, I, I really think I'd like, should I type in hotboys? Let's see what comes up. No! Like, no! You did no, this! The answer is no! I don't know! Why would you, no! Is it like... Dude. Cause I remember why it, it was fucked. It was the vainest penis I've ever thing that'll seen happen. in my life. It's the same thing that'll happen if you type grandfather clock and miss the L. It's gonna be a bad time. <laughs> you think so? It's gonna be a bad time. <laughs> Bro, my mischievous side is like, I don't know though, like... No. no maybe it gonna, could no. be. That's a voice you, you gotta... Like, you gotta not listen that's to a that. voice that you gotta take out into a field, beat it to death, <laughs> shoot it, think... bury it, and never look back again. I just gotta beat it hard enough, and then it'll just go away. Yes. Ish. <laughs> this is why we're not sponsored by fucking Audible. It's so <laughs> it's shit just like this. This is why. Y'all know we lost the Manscaped sponsor. <laughs> Couldn't keep that for more than a few episodes. For a hundred percent free one month trial. Light here is taken to the investigation headquarters where he's asked to hand over all communication devices. Yep, right. This place has been designed with the best security to keep all its operations secret. He meets with a leading detective in the investigation who introduces himself as Ryuzaki, using a fake name to protect his identity. The detective admits to Light that he still suspects him and that he had his girlfriend killed as a way to avoid suspicion. Okay. L is dangerously close to the truth, and with one wrong move, Light could be caught. But I would use this problem as an opportunity to convince him that I wasn't Kira. Now, first of all, we know that L here is willing to break the law because we saw in the first movie that he planted cameras in Light's room without a warrant. So we have to assume this whole place is under surveillance as well. I would volunteer to live here at the headquarters to be observed, bring a page of the death note, write the names of my victims down inside of my pocket, and then erase it so there's no evidence. If all the victims die only during office hours while I'm constantly under surveillance, then it will appear increasingly unlikely that I was the plot from the, the death anime, right? reminds of yeah, Light that he can receive the ability to see someone's true name and date of death in exchange for half his lifespan. It's a tempting oh. offer, but Light here refuses. Okay, giving up half your lifespan is pretty expensive, but maybe there's still a way we can do this without the eyes and use a death note to discover L's true identity. As a citizen of Japan, L is not immune from the many obligations of living in a society and still has to file paperwork using his real name just like the rest of us. I would look for a way to take advantage of this because we might not have his name, but we do have his phone number. Now, Japan basically has four telecommunications companies, which are NTT Docomo, KDDI, SoftBank, and Rakuten Mobile. And his name would be on file as a customer. Smooth. If we figure out which company holds his number, Very then smooth. I would research the employees of that company I like and use the death note to kill one of them. But as an additional <laughs> detail of the death, I, I like first make it the name of the person on file for the try. This still works with rule number four of the death note, which lets you add details about the death before they die, and it will happen. We can get L's true name and write it in the death note to kill him without even needing to be a part of the investigation. Later that night, we find Misa here who is minutes away from death. She's being chased by a stalker who yep. corners her in a dead end, and as the man approaches, he takes out a knife. I told you show me that booty beat, bitch. 
<laughs> is that not what you say in this moment? Come on. No? Nobody else? Just me, huh? <laughs> He's about to kill her with this mysterious creature. I will be like, you left before I could cut you a slice of cake. Suddenly, the what type of shit? Heart attack. And then I stab the her. Falls right next to Confuse her, her before I stab her. her. <laughs> a closer look, she comes face to face with a monster. Just doing too much. Rep, a god of death who tells her she can kill anyone if she writes her name inside this book. The girl likes to snitch. That. The mummy of Spooge. Hopefully not. Uh, uh, it just kind of. You got spinal cords for arms. Yeah, there. That's that's what. That's where I was going with that. Not, not that thing. That clearly looks like what it is. That's right. Right. Tells her she can yeah, tell that's that. Oh. Writes her name inside this book. The girl likes the sound of that, and she's about to do a lot of damage. Okay, a Death Note has the power to kill anybody if you know their name and their face. So it's extremely important it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Now we learned in the first movie that Misa here is actually a famous TV host. And that's exactly why she shouldn't have the book. Not only will the girl's publicity and paparazzi make it impossible to keep a secret, but just imagine if one of the Ooh. Kardashian girls Ooh. got a hold of a Death Note and you'll start to- Damn, they fight good. That's how you can tell a chick's got strong vagina is when, uh, Go ahead. I'm. I, oh, I, 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 no, I, I don't like this. I don't like. I feel uncomfortable. I don't like. <laughs> You're the one who put yourself like here, homeboy. This, this is not what I'm don't about. Don't pawn this off. This is not no, who I'm I, making you uncomfortable. The people I'm, think I'm, I am. Super, I was not. Just imagine if one of the Kardashian girls yeah. got a yeah. hold of a Death Note yeah, and start to understand it. the dangers ah. of facing her. That's but if I were her, I might be less worried about the police and fights. more worried about yeah. the infamous Kira, who has She's been at least that hard. Note to kill criminals you know in the city. We have no idea fair, if he's going to see us as a threat, a competitor, or an I really got to start using use that as a only <laughs> way to... Nah, dude, you'd be looking for the wrong type of bitches in that case, man. No, no, never mind. Never mind. I don't want strong. Yeah. No strong. You know that's one of my rules? Never to have sex with a woman who's physically stronger than me. That's one of my rules. And that's why he's still a virgin to this day, folks. Later that I'm, day, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that perfect somebody by someone claiming to come in. Second Kira. And you know, I'm taking the bottle off my top. They will all die. I mean, as a demonstration, the second Kira will kill this famous critic. Never mind. Seconds later, the man yeah. drops dead. That, that, uh, that didn't happen. The people Let are shocked. No one saw that. realize there are two Kiras. Supporters start to gather and cheer the critic's death outside the news station. A police officer arrives and tells them all to leave, but seconds later, he has a heart attack and dies in front of the audience. Light's sister checks on the man, and appearing on the broadcast, both Light and his father are worried. More haters start dropping dead all around her, and with Light's sister being a critic of Kira, she could die too. Okay, Light here is no longer the most powerful person in the world. But what nobody has noticed yet is that this guy was killed without anyone knowing his name. And that means the second Kira has given half of her life oh, to gain the Death damn. Note's odds. Now, if I were Light here, I would be a little pissed off. You might think that two Death Note users should get along, but most people don't like to share power once they have it. If there were any disagreements in who to target or how to kill, it could turn into an absolute bloodbath. And with this power, she can find Light's name and kill him. If it were me, now would be the perfect time to take Ryuk's deal and give half of my life to see everyone's name no. out of pure necessity. No. This has become a nuclear arms race. That's the mistake. That's a mistake. You don't take that deal until you're old. Like, <laughs> once you're older, it's like, hey, you're coughing up a few years, who gives a shit? But like, if you're 20, then you could be coughing up 30, 40 years. Damn, you could be Not coughing up worth. like 50. Not worth. How old are you gonna live to be? Dude, at least 654. At least. Yeah. I believe it of supernatural killing powers, and we need to make sure we can kill another Death Note user if necessary, or else we won't survive. On the tape, the killer offers to help Kira, revealing that they have the eyes and want to see his Death God. Hearing this, L is floored by the news, realizing uh -huh. that they have a literal Death God, this changes everything. Amazing Mike heads to the station hoping to find the second Kira. Because if this killer truly supports him, Light can get help to kill Detective L. The Shinigami looks pretty okay. good. Okay, Light shouldn't be so happy. The Shinigami does look pretty good. Just up big time. She admitted on public broadcast that she has magic eyes what? and they're both doing this with supernatural gifts. What? This information could lead Elle here to learn about- You snitching ass bitch! Damn it! A live TV. Just couldn't shut the shit up. Just had to tell it. About the death note. But she's done something even more stupid and that's sending in a tape at all. Fingerprints are easy to find and they could track the shipment back to the sender. But more importantly, it's actually been proven that any audio recording since 2005 can be located using just the background hum. 
The electrical what? frequency from power grids have a unique fluctuation. And matching that frequency to a database, they could analyze the tape's waveform data and locate which power grid the tape was recorded in. They might oh also God. be able to find the that time. That just narrows it down. Because this is a mini DV tape, which can carry embedded time code from the footage. From hundreds She's of millions made to millions. She's vulnerable in too many ways. And I would be trying to track down and get control of this user before the police get their hands on a death note. Uh, you know what that means, right, men? You gotta meet her down. Uh, meet Pocalypse. M-E-E-T or M-E-A-T? Both. Both, you gotta, you know, okay. both the meats. Respectable. You know, I was. Or in the World of Warcraft game, we call it taming, because I was a hunter. You gotta tame her, gotta help her. I was about to say help her express herself. Nice touch. It's a double entendre. Rip that out. Maybe even a triple. A squeeze <laughs> But he went anyway and did it. At the news station, Not surprised. Lisa's going home when she sees the girl from the broadcast who challenged Kira. Using her special eyes, she's Ooh. able to see the girl's name, but spots light and notices she can't see how long he will live. She realizes that this means he must have a death note and that light here is the original Kira. That night, she surprises him on his way home, admitting that she's the second Kira. He takes her back to his room and yeah. chews her out for not being more careful. But yeah. when she surrenders her death note, she makes it clear she'll do anything he asks. Ah, ask yes! That's exactly what you what we're looking. What what's but you what? gotta make sure she's got no notes in her pockets. Otherwise it's not worth it. Yep, yep, or guy friends. Those are the worst. Because we always know what that is. <laughs> I only say that because I've been the guy friend a bunch. It was always what it was yeah. when I was the guy friend. It was always a play. <laughs> <laughs> to why she's so willing to do all of this for him. And Rem here reveals that her family was killed by a burglar three years ago. The criminal was never convicted, but when she learned that Kira killed her family's murderer, she fell in love. After he hears her story, he agrees to work with her, but she makes one condition. She will be with Elle and use her death vision to find out his name, only if he promises to date her once per week. A date a week? That only means sex, man. She just needs sex once a week. It's a pretty healthy female, I'm gonna actually. That in writing. No, that's real. What if it's dinner and a movie, and you thought it was sex? Shit. Yeah. You gotta get the down payment of the sex first. Yeah. You gotta get the first installment of sex yeah. up front. At least three pumps. At least. That's when the death guard warns Light that if anything <laughs> oh, no. happens to him, he'll be killed. Ooh. Okay. Shit. One free girlfriend sounds like a pretty good deal, but we yeah. have to do this with caution. Because if Elle still suspects us, then randomly introducing new people into our lives will look even more suspicious. Also, dating a TV star in two days after her old girlfriend's funeral is not a good look. The hell is not? It is if you want people to think you murdered the bitch. I'm somewhat... They think you killed her? Two you... days is too soon, man. Is it? Hell yeah, dude. Are you saying this is because we're on camera? Of course. Okay, just making sure. I, I'm somewhere else that night, man. If you got an alibi, then two minutes. I grieve sexually, folks, okay? <laughs> Don't judge wow. my process, damn it. Wow. That would be one of the worst opening lines I've ever heard. <laughs> I grieve. Could you imagine trying to close that on a chick? Just walking up being like, hey, uh. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. My, my brother just died, and you know, I. I, I, I grieve I sexually. sexually. So I was wondering if, if like we should do a new mini series. Just pick terrible, up women saying terrible, terrible shit, trying to make it work. Yep. Make it work. Yep. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. Making it work with BHD yep. triple entendre. Yep. <laughs> How would it be making it work if I could get her number after doing that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when you start making it work. You're making me sound work. like a whore, and I like it. I didn't say money. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I know, but I'll oh, be she collecting. Got money? I'll be collecting that. She is. The manhandler. The fuck? Nigga, I pimp me. You don't pimp me. Only I pimp me. I know don't some look good at clients. me like this. I know good clients. I'm just saying. This isn't negotiable. What are your clients paying right now? <laughs> uh, what, 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 what are you getting for dick right now on the open market? Shit, man. How much a pump? Because my clients least... pay by the pump. You're probably working by the hour. Like it's 1800s and there's no running electricity. Shit, man. I've just been selfishly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and chop out. I'm not gonna do this. Personally, I would agree to meet with her once a week, only after orchestrating a plausible explanation for the relationship. First, I would use my position in the investigation to I'll interview up. everyone at the TV station and make sure that I met Misa here for oh, the first time in front of Bell, where he could see her acting flirtatious. 
This way we have a reasonable cover to see each other without instantly arousing suspicion. But if we want full control over this situation, we can't stop there. This death god is willing to kill us, which is against the rules. So that means we gotta smash right in front of everybody. A fuck fight. That's what that's got. I was gonna go to, what was that movie? I think it was called Crank, where the guy had to have sex in public. That, is, that was also a was fight as well. Die. That was a fight too. When it gets that desperate, man, I'm always surprised when a female survives. Like that's real shit. Last time I hit one of those type of places in my life, man, I lost 50 pounds. That was just a semen. You know, it might've been. I'm not gonna say it wasn't. We should start a new series with you. We'll call it Beating Your Life Into Order. That one sounds like a, I was about to say hard sell, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I, just, I was trying to stay away from hard, hard yeah, in that, together. that was probably you know better, what I mean? That part better of the direction for you to steer in. Definitely sure. not the best place for me to be no. going. I notice you keep scooting further and further away from me, too. I mean... <laughs> Message received. <laughs> the getting is not good. <laughs> <laughs> If it's she's this protective of her, we can manipulate her if we know she cares for Misa. I would respect the god's wishes for now, but look for a way to take advantage of her feelings for the girl later. Light here goes to school the next day and is shocked to see Elle sitting behind him. That's how the you take advantage of the Dude, if you're trying to get her to love you that hard, man, you know what that means? Could you imagine what that chick looks like under all those band-aids she had and the cum socks? It'd be a scary threesome. I'll you just you ruined my whole, I had this whole elaborate Nope. It's all gone now. Sorry, it's all come sock now. It's all that <laughs> Apologies. Oh, oh, oh. Apologies. Her whole body looks rigid. <laughs> he knows the two Kiras have made contact and plans a way to mask to protect oh. his identity. As they're leaving his class, he's taken aback when Misa here drops by and surprises him. He introduces her to L, and she takes off his mask to see his true name over his head. But when the students recognize her, they start to crowd around Misa here and she leaves the campus to get away from the fans. As they part ways, Light here calls Misa to find out the detective's true name, but L answers the call. He stole her phone, expecting Light to make contact, knowing this one action might save his life. He then tells Light that Misa is being arrested. They found evidence that she might be the second Kira, and Light will have to stay away from headquarters until they're done interrogating her. The police capture Misa and bring her Damn. back to the station to lock up. And yeah, I'm gonna need some time to interrogate <laughs> this witness. Yeah, I bet you. By were. myself too, and it's gonna be long. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drill her on all of the points real good. And now you got a lot of holes in this story to fill. Shit, man, that's not. Damn it, it's only okay when I do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Solitary confinement. L here That's is racist, going to keep her in chains I try to be. can prove that she's not <laughs> okay, This was his biggest mistake. If L is still suspicious of light, then he has made himself vulnerable by working outside of the law because if the public knew about this, it could shut their whole operation down. I would take full advantage of this and get evidence of his human rights violations to get him removed from the case. Since Light isn't allowed back at headquarters, I would write one of the other investigators' names into the death note, but before they die, have them plant additional cameras, record several days of interrogation, and bring them back to me. Now, we can only manipulate people if it ends in their death, and killing an investigator will be hard to do without arousing more suspicion. But statistically, the most common cause of death for police are job-related fatalities. With this in oh, mind, shit. I would kill this investigator in the pursuit of another criminal, and this plan will require three names in the death note. First, Damn. I would have to find a desperate gambler to be the victim. Uh, of course he chooses Adam Sandler. After his last three movies, he is his, just yeah. his time to go. Desperate gambler for Got sure. Person withdraws $10,000 from his bank and waits in view of a CCTV camera. Then, my second victim will steal this man's cash in his car in front of the investigator and drive away. Lastly, I write that the investigator pursues the criminal in his police car, and after a dramatic chase, all three men die in a car crash. When the crime scene is discovered, both the crime and the chase will be recorded on the investigator's dash cam and CCTV footage. Oh, what a Nothing simple answer. You just gotta find three people who are willing to fucking die. Result, we get Come video on. evidence of Al yep. torturing his Come suspects on. outside of the law. Al holds Misa in solitary confinement for five days, but she still hasn't confessed. She then begs to be killed, but the police don't realize she's talking to her death god. Light gets visited by Rem here, who's convinced Misa to give up the Death Note. He learns that a Shinigami can't abandon its human unless the Death Note user dies or they give it up. Well, the homie's got a roll. I'll be finishing this one. Let's do this. Now Misa has lost all her memories associated with it, including Light's secret identity, but she will regain her memories if she touches the Death Note again. The Death God reveals it made a promise to another Death God that used to watch over Misa. 
He saw her the night she was going to be killed and wrote the stalker's name in the death note, killing him to save Misa's life. But he turned to Ash for breaking the rule, that a death god can only take life, not give it. Rem gave her the death note and fell in love with her, but she shouldn't have told this to Light, because with this new information, Light comes up with a plan to free her, and Rem is not going to like it. The next day, Light here tells the death god to find a new user for the death note, and buries his own copy in the forest. He then tells Ryuk here that if he says the code word throw away, he will surrender his death note to wipe his own memory. Later, he goes back to the investigation's headquarters and tells them he could have a split personality and might be Kira without knowing it. He asks that they keep him under surveillance until Kira kills again. Okay, this is all a part of Light's master plan, but now he can't use his death note and has no control over the situation. But if this was our best idea, I would go one step further and tell everyone we should also make sure Al isn't Kira and that if I were to submit myself to observation, then he should do the same. If he refuses and makes him look like he has something to hide, and if he agrees, that when no Kira murders are reported during this time in confinement, he will look just as suspicious. This gives us more freedom to control the situation because Al will become a suspect of his own investigation and he might have to recuse himself. It's been 12 years and seven days since Light turned himself in. The confinement becomes unbearable and Light here finally gives up his death note and tells Ryuk the code phrase to wipe his memory. He passes out, but when he wakes up, he tells the team that he knows he's not Kira and declares they will finally put a stop to the killer. But this was all a part of Light's plan. Later that night, the reporter Kiyomi is on her balcony when a death note lands next to her. She picks it up and sees the death god who tells her that she's been given a special gift and Rem will teach her how to use it. The reporter opens her death note and starts writing. Criminals from all over Japan start dropping dead and in greater numbers than ever before. Meanwhile, the reporter Kiyomi has been proving herself at the news station with her coverage of the murder spree, but the anchor woman is jealous of the attention and lets her know it. But Kiyomi here doesn't take criticism well at all. On her way back home, she gets run over by a semi-truck and dies, leaving Kiyomi here as the new anchor woman. At the investigation headquarters, Light and Misa have been let out of their cells, but are still being held here. He's no longer believed to be Kira, and the investigation team is looking for a new suspect, but he might have a clue. Light here has found evidence that this new Kira is a woman who is associated with Sakura TV, like their new anchor woman, Kiyomi. Arriving back home, Kiyomi here has no idea that her place has been bugged. The investigators watch her writing into a notebook, and when they get a closer look, discover the names of Kira's most recent victims, along with the names of criminals that are still alive. The only way to prove she's the killer is to let these people die, but Light here comes up with a plan for the investigators to catch the woman. Okay, this all seems very clever, but now the investigators know that this was done with supernatural powers, and that gives them a lot more to work with because their investigation is no longer bound by what is physically possible. With this knowledge, L still has a reason to suspect that Light could be involved somehow. Now we have to use a death note to mislead the investigation. So I would make several fake copies of the death note, write the names of my past kills inside them, spread them to several people throughout the city, and help lead the investigation to those books. It will give them too many answers that don't add up. And in the meantime, I'll be able to get the original death note back while derailing the entire investigation. The next day, she receives a call from a man who reveals he has a recording of her using the death note and offers her the tape in exchange for 5 million yen. When she goes home, she finds secret cameras and microphones hidden around her unit as the police get confirmation that the criminal's name she wrote down yesterday have died. They have their woman. Later that night, she finds out that the man has gone to her news station and plans on revealing her identity, and she has an hour and 25 minutes before she's exposed. She makes a deal with Rem to have the eyes of a death god so she can find this man's name and kill him. And with her new abilities, she goes to the TV station. She arrives on the set of the news broadcast and falls right into Light's trap. She's blinded by the lights and tackled to make sure she can't see their faces. Elle here reveals she had been watching a fake broadcast and the police chief demands to know how she killed people. She tells him she writes the names in a notebook and dares him to try it. Elle touches the book and sees a death god for himself. But when Light takes it from the detective, all his memories come rushing back to him. His master plan has worked and now he can finish what he started. He had Rem create a fake rule stating you must kill someone every 13 days or else they die. Rem used this rule to trick Kiyomi to continue her killings while Light was being confined, making it clear that he wasn't Kira. Okay, now we've regained access to the Death Note and all of our memories. The problem is, everyone else knows about the Death God, but there's still a way to use this to our advantage here against L. 
If Rem has already done this much for us, we can also use her to lie, telling the investigators that L was the person who first possessed the Death Note. Then, I would have Ryu plant Light's original Death Note among L's personal items, making it look like he's the original Kira and the reporter was the second. The other investigators might think L was trying to use the second Kira as a way to solve the case without revealing himself to be the killer, and they'll arrest him. The investigators realize the public won't believe the supernatural explanation, but Elle's adamant that if they prove how this works, they can get her executed. While the rest of the team is distracted, Light here uses a piece of paper from the Death Note he hid in his watch to kill Kiyomi and gain ownership of the book. New Dove Men deodorant is different. It has 48-hour protection and a plant-based moisturizer that cares for your skin. Odor protection that works. New Dove Men plant-based care. The investigation team goes back to their headquarters and tries to figure out if she was killed by another Kira. Light brings attention to the last rule of the book, saying an owner must keep on writing a name every 13 days or else they die. Since both he and Misa were confined for much longer than that, they're both innocent. But when Al asks Rem if the rules are all true, the Death God lies that they are. With that, the team drops their surveillance of the two suspects, and Light is allowed to continue helping the investigation. Later, Light tells Misa to go to the forest and retrieve the Death Note he buried. She finds it and digs it up, but when she takes it out of the bag, all of her lost memories come rushing back to her. Now she remembers what Light told her to do. She goes back home and tries to write down Elle's real name, but she can't remember what it was. Having also lost the power to see people's names, she makes a deal with Ryuk to regain the Death God's eyes for another half of her life. Okay. This is a really bad deal. The average life expectancy of a Japanese woman is 84 years, and now that she's taken the deal twice, she'll die at the age of 21, which only gives her months to live. If it were me, I would give up on learning Elle's true name and kill him the good old fashioned way. First, I'd write someone else's name in the death note with the cause of death being that he sends a letter to Elle claiming that he has information on the real identity of Kira and asks to meet to hand deliver the evidence. When they meet, the man will shoot everyone at the scene and although the death note will let us kill him this way, he will be severely wounded and hospitalized, which gives us a great opportunity to kill him when he's at his most vulnerable. The hospital will also require medical records which must be found under Elle's true name and we could still try using the death note if we can learn his identity this way. A week later, Kira has begun killing people again and Elle thinks it's Misa. The investigators decide to consult with the FBI to test if the 13 day rule is real and take the death note with them, leaving Elle and Light behind. The detective suspects that Misa still has the other death note and has sent his liaison to pick her up. She has no idea that she's being led right into Elle's trap. Rem knows she's in trouble and sacrifices herself by writing in the death note to save her as she turns to ash and the book burns to a crisp. Misa arrives at the headquarters when the liaison suddenly collapses from a heart attack and El here falls off his chair. He realizes Light's plan was to use the death god against him and dies, knowing that he was right all along. Light has finally beaten his greatest opponent. Reuniting with Misa, he uses his death note to write his dad's name and specifies that the book is brought back before he dies. When his dad arrives, Light asks him to hand over the death note, but the man reveals that he doesn't have it and that he saw everything that his son did. The rest of the investigation team come out of hiding and surround them. They're both placed under arrest, and Light is shocked when he sees L is still alive. He outsmarted him by switching out Misa's death note for a fake one, but wrote his name in the real book in the exact day he would die. By doing this, L has guaranteed no one can kill him with another death note. He reveals that he switched Misa's death note after the killing started again, and the whole rule testing experiment was a trick. Light here tries to use the death note paper from his watch, but one of the cops shoots it off his wrist and puts a bullet in his leg. With only one option left, he begs Ryuk here to kill the entire investigation team. There's nothing they can do to stop the Death God from writing down a name, but Ryuk reveals that he wrote down Light's name in the Death Note. No matter how hard he begs, his fate can't be changed, and Light finally dies. L decides to burn the remaining Death Notes and resigns himself to his impending death. A year later, Misa has forgotten her memories of the Death Note, but still remembers to celebrate Light's birthday, as Ryuk flies around Tokyo looking for his next Kira. But what do you think? How would you beat Death Note 2? Let me know with a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. That was good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It's Bull Blast from SHD.